So what kind of pens and pencils do I use the most? Which ones are my favorite? And which ones would I recommend? Folks, welcome to the channel. And even though this seems a little bit different from the usual survival and prepping topic, stay for this one because maybe there's something here for you to learn. Uh, first of all, in terms of quality, this applies to all things, not just pens, guns, knives, quality matters. When you buy quality, you appreciate it, especially down the road. As years go by, it may uh, retain its value, it may even go up, and if nothing else, these are quality tools that will get the job done when you need it. Perfect example of this. I love this. these pencils. These are 0.9 millimeters, I think it is. Uh, and these ones just rot on me. I mean, the plastic just degraded, started falling apart, and even the body just broke on its own without any <laughs> any exterior force or anything just the quality of the thing is not there and it's not always about buying fancy buying expensive in fact these ones which are my favorite pencil in the world my favorite mechanical pencil is the uh, Sabonis P228 which you see here and I mean I have a bunch of them I have several I bought a number of them years ago and it just holds on well. It's Yes, it's plastic. It was pretty cheap back in the day. Uh, these are not exactly easy to come by. The thing I like the most is, I don't know if you get to focus here, the, yeah, it's that. That's the thing that does it for me. The square, the rectangular lead. It's 0 0.9 millimeters by 1.8, and it is damn hard to come across. I have a bunch of of leads for it and I have a number of pens for this but it's really not all that common uh, so I, I bought a lot of them years and years ago and every once in a while I try to find something similar just to restock just in case the closest I came across was this these are also pretty good it's the exact same there you go 1.8 trying to get this to focus 1.8 by 0 0.9 by 60 six centimeters of length these are Chinese still the same thing now uh, one of the things I was being asked was what would I recommend for a quality mechanical pencil you usually buy by brand by quality uh, you saw how this degraded over the years how this just you know it's really not all that good now at the same time I have this other pencil this is from a pilot look how worn this is let's see if I get that to focus look how pilot the shaker 0 0.5 and this thing still works perfectly well it has a retractable t metallic tip there and even the, the the shaker mechanism works you just shake it like that and it goes out this is fantastic this would be a, a great pencil to have it is yeah it, it was great back in the day still is and decades later still working just fine um, you also have this in other, uh, in other models, Rotring, well, it's, not, it's a different brand, but this one, this is from my, this is my son's, this is a two millimeter metal body, great pencil. This is nice. This is a, a very nice pencil, mechanical pencil, uh, Rotring 600 model, all metal, and I like that this is pretty gnarly, you're not slipping here, so cool pencil, um, yeah. Definitely a, a, a nice brand to recommend and a, and a beautiful pencil if you like these sort of things. So Yeah, and, and back in my architecture days that the pencil to have was was the shorty this one <laughs> um, And it's super lightweight and people love it because of that And if you didn't have the money for this one you would usually buy the the cheap knockoff shorty which was okay I mean it still works and if you liked a little bit of a longer model these ones would be good too uh, again same thing and these are tough these are pretty reliable pretty solid mechanisms uh, in spite of the years they are still holding on you know a little plastic body there but yeah these are nice um, Another good brand, the Faber Castell. These ones, great plus. It's not shaker model, but the the little rubber. It actually has this mechanism that you can actually. Yeah, these are good, and these are 0 0.9 uh, of the smaller uh, leads. This is the one I like the most. This one just, at least for me, 
I don't I never liked 0.5 I always saw it was just a little bit too thin and I'd rather have something like this or a lot more you know the the rectangular lead this at least for me it just feels so much better in your hand it just slides and you can actually work the angle a little bit more so whatever it is you're trying to do there's always a little angle that gets what you're trying to make even if you're like sketching or doing you know faces or whatnot all of this stuff I just love this thing this is just best thing for me I love this one now in terms of pens you have a number um, Parker affordable good quality plastic as always breaks so these are still okay I have I think that one of these is still intact but the other ones have little cracks there in the cap or in the body so whenever you can buy you know quality go with that and in terms of quality for pens a cross is usually at least for me the way to go these are the ones I like the most and you have other ones I don't even know the names of these ones you probably guys can help me over there but this uh, this one is okay this one is fine it's kind of like a, a cross wannabe um, but if you want to have quality go with cross you, you really cannot go wrong with that um, the more affordable much cheaper version that's also cool the zebra f701 uh, in the prepper community is considered more of a the unofficial tactical pen which is because it's all metal so it's a very strong pen you have a, a, a metal uh, stick basically and it will do most of the things you want a tactical pen uh, for without actually being a tactical pen so that's why lots of people in the prepper and survival community love the Zebra F701. Now, there's a new model that I actually came aware became aware of recently, the FXMD. The FXMD is exactly the same thing, but instead of having this plastic thing here, it's all metal. So, all metal, very cool, similar to the F701. Uh, I don't know if it's this this one is made in Indonesia, I think. This one's somewhere else, but the quality is still and the weight, I would not think they're all that different really. So there you go, guys. You have affordable things. You have better quality, nicer stuff. Um, the one I bought recently, this is the last pin I actually bought. This is the Troika Lilliput Construction, which is pretty nice. Um, so you have a, a mini pen that is quite hefty. It's quite heavy for its size. And it works okay. I mean, if you have to sign stuff, if you have to write down stuff, try to figure out the only thing I'm I'm really not loving all that much is I mean it's fine it's a little bit too short so for me if this was just one just one inch longer would have been perfect just one more inch it's just a tad too short I get the mini thing that's fine but at least for me I, I'm not screwing around like this this is not comfortable uh if, if i want to have something that's a little bit more comfortable um uh, man I, i'm really missing here uh, a couple uh, an inch or two just an inch or two would have made this a whole lot better now if you want something super minimal sure for signing for writing down like a a number or crap like that you're not going to be sketching with this thing you know it's a uh, it's just a little bit it's okay but it's just a little bit too short. Could have been great, but unfortunately, it is what it is. Now, if you want something super compact, there you go. And if you're working in construction and you're writing down like names, a phone number, maybe a couple numbers or whatnot, okay, this will do. It has a clip, has a little rubbery thing for using in your tablet or your phone. You wanna just you know go go like that. And besides that, it also has a little little party trick here thing, which is a flat screwdriver which is actually quite sharp and it would work as a as a little sharp edge for opening a box or cutting some tape or crap like that and it's reversible with a magnet inside so you can just reverse it like that drop it into place stays there because of the magnet and you have either a Phillips or a flat screwdriver for whatever little thing you need to maybe you know tighten up or loosen up a little bit here and there Guys, that's basically it. I think these are quite nice. These are some of the options I usually uh, take into account and the ones I like the most. 
That's gonna be all for now. See you on our next video. Take care.